environment setup for this course is going to be fairly simple since we'll be working in the front end. So I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my text editor, but you can use whatever editor you like. You don't have to use Visual Studio Code, but I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. And then I'm going to be using Google Chrome. So we're going to need to access the developer tools and I'm going to be using Google Chrome to do that. So if you want to use Firefox or any other browser, uh, feel free to do that. I'm just showing you guys what I'm going to be using. And then you're going to need a terminal. And this is because we're going to be running the Angular CLI commands in the terminal. So you guys will need to have some sort of a terminal. Now, I didn't even have to put this on there. Most computers nowadays, they come with a terminal. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can get one for Windows where you can run Linux commands into Windows. So this is the setup you need. Most of you guys probably already have all of these already, but let me go ahead and show you where you can get those if you don't have them. So to get Visual Studio Code, you just have to go to code.visualstudio.com and then you can download it for your operating system. As you can see, they support Mac, Windows and Linux. So just go here and then download it for your operating system. Pretty simple, you just go through the prompts and then you should be good to go. And then for Chrome, you just have to go to google.com slash Chrome and then you can just download it using this button right here or you can just click on this button here and it's gonna be fairly simple. Just accept the license and click okay, okay, continue and then have it installed. Now for Windows users, so I'm using this CMD -er as my emulator or terminal. So the reason that I like this when I'm on my Windows computer is because I can run Linux commands. So if you go to cmdr.net, if you scroll down, you should see these two buttons here where you can download it on your Windows computer. And the download is going to be fairly simple. Again, accept the license, click OK, continue, and then boom, it's installed. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm using my Windows computer. So it's going to look like this after you have installed it. And you can see that I can type ls and then I have a uh, the list of all the everything that I have in this folder. So you can run Linux commands as well. Like you can do use SSH and, and many other Linux commands. I don't think you can use all Linux commands for this, but most of them will work in this emulator. So that's why I like to use it when I'm on my Windows computer. But when we start working on this, when we start developing uh, the applications and writing some code, I'm going to switch to my Linux uh, computer because I like to use it better for development. So make sure you get those if you want to follow exactly along with what I'm doing. Otherwise, you can use the command line or if you're on a Mac, you can use whatever uh, terminal you want. You can use any editor you want and you don't necessarily have to use Chrome, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm going to be using.